Hello friends. Today we will be talking about the biosynthesis of amino acids. All the amino acids they are synthesized from the intermediates which are derived from the common metabolic pathways known to us like glycolysis, uh, the Krebs cycle, TCA cycle or also called as your citric acid cycle and the pentose phosphate pathway. These supply the carbon skeleton like carbon, hydrogen, oxygen for amino acids whereas the nitrogen it enters these pathway via the means of glutamate and glutamine. The pathway for synthesis of amino acids are quite diverse. Like 10 of the amino acids they are synthesized by only one or two steps after the intermediates are removed from these respective pathways while others they have a more complex mechanism for the synthesis like most of the aromatic amino acids. Different organisms also vary differently in their ability to synthesize these 20 different amino acids. Like most bacteria and plants they can synthesize all the required 20 amino acids while mammals they can synthesize only half of them. They generally prefer to synthesize the amino acids which have a simpler pathway for their formation. Such amino acids which they can synthesize on their own are referred to as the non-essential amino acids. While other amino acids which generally have a complex pathway for their formation and are not synthesized by the mammals themselves and need to be obtained from the diet are called as the essential amino acids. So remember both are required by the body but the non-essential ones are made by the body itself and therefore may not be supplemented in the diet whereas the essential amino acids since they are not synthesized in the body have to be supplemented from the external diet. For our better understanding, we divide the biosynthetic pathway into six major families depending on the precursor which is used for the synthesis of uh, these amino acids. Now according to the precursor, the families of amino acid biosynthetic pathways are the alpha-ketoglutrate family, the 3-phosphoglycerate family, the oxaloacetate family, the pyruvate family, the phosphoenol pyruvate and erythrose 4-phosphate family and the ribose 5-phosphate family. Apart from these, one another precursor or an intermediate which forms the precursor for uh, these amino acid biosynthesis and also a nucleotide biosynthesis is PRPP that is 5-phosphoribosyl 1-pyrophosphate. This intermediate that is PRPP is in turn derived from ribose 5-phosphate which we obtain from the pentose phosphate pathway. The formation of this PRPP is catalyzed by the enzyme ribose phosphate pyrophosphokinase which adds the pyrophosphate group from ATP into ribose 5-phosphate to form this intermediate that is PRPP. Thank you.